So it's uh, December and uh, time for physics fun. Last day of term at school and year eight. We've been looking at uh, a radiant heater. So you can see the hot heater there. And we've got two metal discs, one silver, one black. In fact, it's actually, if you look quite closely, it's quite a dull black, this one as well. Now, this clever little holder that I've got, I can now slot it in. I'm struggling to, hold on, there we go. My little holder, I'm gonna turn it round on this special table and you can see on the back here, we've got a really clever indicator of temperature. Now straight away, if we look at the two discs, you can see the heat and can we see how the black one is strongly absorbing the thermal radiation. We're already going up to 45 and 50 and the silver one is only on 40. It's quite hard to see the black one, but it's already going all the way around. It's getting quite hot. It's quite hard with my phone to actually see these little scales. If I go in a little bit, you might manage to catch it. But the idea is they, they show us that this one, oh, and it says stop. If you look, you can see there, that one says stop because actually it's got really, really hot. And if you go any higher, it damages it. I've got another practical actually, not quite so good, but this one I poured some boiling water in and the conical flask has just got silver um, and this one has been painted dark on the inside. Now this mercury, uh, not a mercury thermometer, sorry, is an alcohol thermometer. My take on it, I can read 50. And this one, which is the silver one, we've clearly got, what's that, 52, which is telling is that when I poured the water in, this one has kept more of the heat in and this one has let a lot of the heat out. So this one is thermally conducting much better. And there we've got some really cool experiments on emission or absorption of infrared.